Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 2, Episode 3 of The L Word Generation Q. This time the title of the episode is Luck Be A Lady, and I am excited to watch a new episode of The L Word because I think that uh, from the weekly shows that I watch, uh, if I'm not wrong, well, Motherland and this one are my favorite episodes. Definitely not Riverdale. <laughs> but uh, the L word is just like, it has such a, like, the L word as in general has such a, like, a big part of who I am, you know, is a show where I figure out so many things. So uh, just having it and be able to react to it uh, right now, uh, it's just amazing. So I love it. And I am here ready to watch another episode. The previous episode ended with bed and my girl uh, Danny hugging. Yes, granted, it was just more like, like bed trying to protect Danny, but like, has to start somewhere and like Danny said that she had a crush on bed before and I know she's going through a lot because of the whole Sophie Finley thing but I'm just I am just here to collect an end, not an end game but a cannon okay let's go baby steps cannon ship I won that um anyways a lot of shit is happening on the show um Nat uh came out to Alice as polyamorous and I think I understood things wrong. I think that what uh, Nat meant when she said to Alice that being poly and being bi is kind of the same thing. I think I missed the fact that she also said it's because we are both exploring who we are. And that just is basically the same if we're talking about that is basically the same about being you know, gay, a lesbian, you are exploring who you are at the end of the day, right? But polyamorous and bisexuals are not the same thing in terms of, like, meaning. That's that's not the same thing. But I understand that it's, it's, it's a process and it's something that they're, she's working through. Uh, but I understood wrong or maybe they didn't explain it well. But I, I, I think I get what she was trying to say now. Um, Gigi and Bed are fire are fire like the fact that they were both fighting to top it was just like the most wonderful thing but i just couldn't cope and i had to like walk away from it because it was too much for me oh, but bless this show bless this show anyways i'm ready to watch episode three right now i hope you guys enjoy it. i hope you guys have a good time watching my reaction as much as i am going to have a good time watching this uh amazing show so hope you guys enjoy hope you guys continue supporting for more give it a lot of thumbs up if you love the l word subscribe comment hit the notification bell go to patreon to watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more so in case you guys want to do that link as always will be in the description down below and for now i think that's about it yeah without further ado let's just begin with season two episode three of the l word generation q here we go Wait, you didn't share similarities with one or more. How lucky is it that you find similarity with one more person? <laughs> oh my god, I wish I could do that. I don't think that we have that here. Imagine I have like 300 other other <laughs> siblings or something. Oh, oh, that's scary. She's excited. One thing, as an OG fan of the L word, of the original, the L word, do you guys miss the intro? Like, the song, flying fucking fucking I don't remember all of it, I there was a point where I used to like do the whole thing, but I don't remember it right now. This is the way, right? I don't know. Do you guys miss it if you are like if you have watched the OG the L word? Have do you miss it? I kind of do. Like imagine if one day they just randomly put the intro there. I'll, I will freak out. I think. Is there uh, <laughs> more coffee? Yeah, I mean, oh, thank you. They seem very normal. Hey, uh, 
Yeah. Copy that. Yeah. Uh, I, I gotta go to work. She just left. Okay. Oh, Alice. Hi. 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 What? You know they finally got rid of that. Uh, dead what did she spread? <laughs> what are your face? <laughs> oh yeah. So, how was it? Okay, so you're. Uh, so she, they discuss it, and she is up to have an open relationship with her. Okay, I mean that's brave. I wouldn't do it, but that's just me, you know. Good, and you know it's it's all thanks to you. Oh, you know? Thank don't you think for her. Seeing me. Well, you know it makes me happy to see you happy. <laughs> it doesn't. Um, all I really want for you. No, I do I believe that you want. Why I do believe that she wants her to be happy, but I don't think she's happy about this. This is Alice. <laughs> she's not- It's not that simple, you okay? Work. You know, that's all I want for you. Yeah, anything else? It has to be difficult, right? <laughs> she opens doors for her. This is so cute! I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm really here for it. And also, like, the height difference. I, I'm a sucker for that! Okay, I need to control myself. No, I can't tonight. Going to the Frogtown Arc Walk. Oh, oh! Gigi needs to stop doing this shit! I almost fell! God damn it! You do not do these things to me! I am I'm too gay for this! I just spit all over my mic! What the f <laughs> She can grab her ass without telling me first! <sighs> Gigi, I love you, Gigi. I love her. Okay, I need to calm myself down. <gasps> <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm not okay. Hi. I'm sure you will. Oh. Just don't let her father run roughshod over you. Okay. What? Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Beth Porter. Oh, yes. That's that. Uh, uh, okay. Wait. Because uh, cause, cause I watched the. the, 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 the can even speak god damn it i watched the trailer because it was kind of inevitable for me to watch it because it's at the end of the episode of the first episode and then i heard something about Gigi and danny so i need to like <laughs> okay this is my girlfriend Gigi gorbani mm. nice to meet you thank you so much for writing. I love it's just a Danny and uh, okay it's just a Danny and Ben just work so well together because they were they're so similar because like Danny was like why is she hugging me but like imagine imagine Danny and Gigi though just give him like imagine a, a imagine a throuple between all three of I will die I will explode. Don't, don't actually do it, because I will explode. I'm so loud. I'm so sorry. Oh, like, I will say I'm normally not this loud, but I am. But, like, I feel like I'm extra loud right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Shall we go? Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> They're definitely talking about it. Okay. That guy's talking about All it. All right. Bye. This oh, guy's definitely thanks. talking about it. <laughs> I love that we're having a lot more scenes with Sophie's sis sister, who I am terrible because I don't remember her name. But I am glad that we're having more scenes with her as well. She seems such a like such a fun ca character. Um, well, that's not for you. It's for your mom. What? Okay, but I wanted to earn that. You are gonna earn. I feel like my bones are shaking a little bit. I can tell. <laughs> okay, thank you. Welcome. Close that information. Because <laughs> you might kill her, and if you do, I just can't have that on my conscience. So tell me where she is. <laughs> I love yeah. their bed dream. Jordy, um, she wants to meet. This is so oh. dope. What did your mom say? Nothing. Because uh, I haven't told her. Um, I haven't told them. Well, she doesn't know. I do. I'm there. Thank you, Jordy. It's so cute. She has a rooftop pool. I had said I'm Dr. Tunis. Mama, I'm not even good. In I'm Chile. Ten high happy to meet you. Oh, what are all they saying? Is this like lesbian code? No, it's it's a, it's an actual language. But what is what are they saying? That's so hot. 
The show keeps fitting me so well every week. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll make this a lovely place, Danny. Man on the street, but but gay. Oh yes. Isn't that just Billy Eichner? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> yep, that's exactly what that is. Okay, so I'm gonna keep thinking about it, and I'll get back to you. Uh, you I was gonna say otherwise? Billy on the street. Yeah, I'm just ready my next work session. Yeah, so good, so good. <laughs> it's okay I'll, if it's I'll not good. I'll more bad ideas too. Prop. Ugh. Shouldn't do this to yourself, Alice. She shouldn't do that. And honestly, because right now, Nat is not doing anything wrong. She's asking, she's trying to be, you know, correct and polite and, like, expressing what she wants, what she doesn't want. And, like, she's she's open in having this conversation. I don't think she will have started, you know, sleeping with someone right away if it was not okay with Alice. You know, and until they sorted things out, I think she could have waited. But, like, if Alice is, is, is just... You know, lying to herself that she can do this, then it's it's really wrong. She shouldn't do that to herself, you know? Mostly I taught family. Okay. okay. All right. Have a great first day. Thanks. Yeah. This is so wonderful. I'm going to love seeing him here work, you and know? And here. Power of attorney. This is a DNR. What? What's going on? A DNR? He, he's sick. A DNR is a do not resuscitate. <laughs> I, my, I watch my fair share of, of ER and also Grey's Anatomy. That's what a DN DNR is, right? Do not resuscitate. And they only give that to people who are like, have like terminal, any terminal diseases or something like that, right? <gasps> Them. Is Gigi gonna have a problem because Beth called her her girlfriend? And if someone catches my eye, then then I might show them. You're so powerful, stop it! <laughs> Will you catch my eye? Oh yes, you catch my eye too. Would you like some wine? You're so cute. Good, okay. thank you. But how about it? What is it? Is it because... What happened? What? What? Is it because she didn't really follow what you were saying? Ben, not everybody is signing to art. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Is she going mad? What is happening? Oh, this moves her. Whatever this is. <laughs> I thought it would be okay to hold me like a baby. Oh, we're the worst. God damn it. Please. Oh. Shit like that happens to me all the time. I'm just I'm really tired. Okay. You, oh, there's a lot to unpack there. Because the, the one thing is, like, I fully understand her. And, 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 and you know, well, not f fully because I am not in her place. But I can sympathize with what she just said. But her struggles are her struggles and are her own, you know, um, struggles. I just said that. <laughs> but they are her own. That doesn't make hers more important than his. Or his more important than hers, you know. It's, it's, it's not a competition. It's not about, like, okay, who has it worse in life. But I really thought when, when Nat did the introduction and all of it that he was, like happy about it and now he's like ah oh, i'm so tired of helping like trans kids like why wouldn't you want to like people can relate to you i know that that's not all that you are but like this is your first day on your f this big job where you can make a difference I just, I don't know. I, I think Mike has seen it. I don't know. It's his experience at the end of the day. Of teaching everyone how to be decent fucking human. I did just want to say on behalf of all white women, I apologize to both of you. 
Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, we so didn't need that. So the first time that I saw her work was her stop showing. And now she's here. Until now. Until, Until now. now. Until now. Until oh, now. It's so cute. You want to go back? Let's yes. fucking go back. Go, go, go. Look at her. Oh, I fucking love Beth so, so you much. You met at the LGBT center. Way more evolved than I am. But when I'm with a woman, I always see her. You know? Yeah. 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 Okay, so. Uh, yeah, but Gigi. like, it's not about being evolved or not. It's just that some people are into polyamorous relationships. Some people are into monogamous relationships. That is okay. A okay for both of them, you know? Why did you guys end that? No, well, that's not it. I don't feel threatened. Mom, who's here? No one. What? <sighs> really? Wow, so yesterday I'm I your... was your girlfriend and today I'm no one? That's oh, just... Jesus, that's not what I meant. All I meant was right now. I've never asked you to deconstruct <sighs> anything of mine, let alone my feelings. Okay. Well, you have a great day. Oh, shit. Bet? I mean... Ben is not really well known for, <laughs> for, you know, being excellent at taking care of everyone's feelings, especially when she's feeling a lot. But this was just so bad. Like, Gigi was there trying to, like, you know, just be there for you. And you just said, there's no one here. Come on. Come on. Oh, bad. Look at her. She's so pissed. And... I'm all yours. Stop. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look like you could use a night out. <laughs> I love Gigi. Obvious, Haven't huh? said that as well. Yeah. Sofa is missing. Right, yeah, the sofa, obvious. <laughs> Void, but we can get a new sofa. I. So maybe don't look directly in front of you. <laughs> oh my god. Can you pass me the red pepper, please? She took that too? She took the red pepper. <laughs> You're fucking kidding. Really? Jesus Christ. This is my life. This is my fucking life. Empty except for you. Oh, that's you know, amazing. You don't have to talk to me like that. I thought I was saving you, dude. She doesn't need any saving, you know. You did. The fuck? Excuse me? You fucking saved me! Oh, so funny. Okay, so you're saying something nice, but in a mean way. Uh, yeah. yeah. Apparently. It's confusing. Well, I'm confused. You don't seem confused. You just don't seem to want to accept that she's the one you want. <sighs> okay, and that you are kind of an asshole too. Will you just forgive me, please? please? For what she did to Danny, I mean. You'll see. You're not gonna try to like murder me out yeah. here. <laughs> really, I ain't trying to go out like no. that. Oh, God. I'm just trying to thank you. I'm trying to make a point that sometimes life is hard. Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> did you have to be this extra? I'm sorry. Look, I, yeah, I just thought, you know, pony, horse. Pretty. No. It's okay. <laughs> thank you. I mean, Honestly, I really should have told you the story about wanting a Rolex. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 Thank yes. <laughs> and thanks for assuming I could. Um, I think you're going to want me in there. I look pretty cute today. <laughs> pattern on pattern is in. Says the church lady. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Do you have me? Hi. That's <laughs> my family. They're kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Nat wants to keep fucking Marissa, so I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> Shut all of that down, now. Actually, I can't. It's not like. Wait, wait, wait! What the hell with that guy? You fucked her. Yeah, I did. I mean, he's missing out on all of this. Oh, oh yes. What can I say? Yes. How many brothers do you have? Seven. All boys and me. Seven oh my brothers. god. That wow. must have been so smelly. Fucking smelly. <laughs> and hectic. I was right in the middle of the sister. <laughs> is he, is he <laughs> flirting with her? <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> okay, I understood that. Lesbian. 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 Can I can I join you? No! 
انتر بیشور برو چی زبون برو خجالت هم خوب چیزی ها I find it so sexy when she talks in a different language sorry that was fast that was fast yeah stop no actually no you know I'm really I'm really happy for you I want to know more about you Gigi is like she knows what she wants and she will go after it. We all should be more like Gigi. But at the same time, isn't she like I don't think she just broke up with Bet, right? So but like okay, I'm gonna shut up. Where's Tess? <gasps> what just happened? What just happened? What just happened? No. I'm good. Are you sure? What the hell just happened? I'll take another martini. You got it. Interesting about you. Um, oh. We can talk about or not talk about. Um, you <laughs> are a bisexual thing. Mm -hmm. Sex and emotion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can yeah, do me it, too. but it's hard. I mean, it, it's way harder than guys. <laughs> You know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a confidence thing, though. I mean, would you? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm with you. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Oh, oh. Shit. Oh. Alice. You okay? Alice? Alice? Was it the case of fun, Dito? Huh? <laughs> Sometimes ain't nothing fun about that Dito. Not here with a date. What a horrible coincidence. It's not a coincidence. Oh, you totally set this up. I, yeah. Holy cow. Totally placing it down, oh, okay? Oh. And then they're just taking my insights. Oh. Oh, stop, 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 stop. It's not you, it's the smell of the trash, and that image is way more visual than I expected. I'm sorry. No, don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. They're really Let's funny together. They lock us out. It's locked. Uh, it's locked. Fuck me. Well, no. he can go in um, again. I just couldn't believe it. I was down. He followed me to the office and he put his hands on me. And I laughed because that's what we're taught to do. And I just waited for him to get tired and was sick of me not saying yes. And I didn't mean to jeopardize the game. Please don't be mad at me. I don't think she's mad at you because of this, I'm but sorry. Because you didn't tell her. Tess. I kind of wish you took more. Yeah, see, I. I it, She's not mad about I'm, that. I'm just glad you're okay. You are okay, right? Yeah. Good. That's what is important to Thanks. her. She cares about you. No, Alice, believe me, that's not what I want. No, I know that that's not what you want, but you I wouldn't want-, want... You. I'm gonna go. Wait, we go? Uh, wait, Alice. It's gonna be what okay. What do you mean? We can figure this out. Oh, shit. But come on, Alice. Come on, Nad. You have to understand that this is difficult for her too. Yeah. <laughs> what does that even mean? I have no. You guys idea. are drunk. Be careful. Okay? Wait. <laughs> there were three Walnars in my grade. TD. TD. <laughs> they all drove Mercedes and wore Prada. See, that's oh. the part of Tehran that I am. I had the best time tonight. I can tell. And it really came out of nowhere. What the fuck is going on? Oh! Oh my god. Is this your dad's place? Yeah. Oh no! Wait, is he, her dad is gonna die now? Okay guys, so that was the end of season 2 episode 3 of the L Word Generation Q. Lots of things happen on this episode. Um, first of all, with the whole Nat and, and, and Alice thing, I think that, um, I don't know. I know Alice, kinda, you know? I mean, people change, people evolve, but from the first conversation they have a, had about this, she didn't seem okay with it. You know, and she didn't, she was not okay before when they were with, with, with Gigi and all of that. And for her, it was more of like, you know, let's just leave it at that. We had an, an adventure and that's it, you know. 
Um, I totally understand Nat and her uh, necessity to explore who she is, to uh, date multiple people and fall in love with multiple people at the same time. And just like Alice says, she deserves someone that wants to be in that journey with her. That's not Alice, you know? And I think it's not fair that Nat will ask that from Alice, you know? Um, because, like I said, I am very respectful of her and her decision of exploring the fact that she is polyamorous. But we have to also respect the other side of it, which is Alice and the fact that she is not into that, you know? And it's completely okay for both of them to be who they are, you know? Um, thing is that I have a feeling right now that something might happen with this Tom dude. And one of the things I think that were not, eh, it, it was explored with Alice during the OG, the L word, kind of the beginning, like the first season. But after that, it's not like she dated more multiple guys. She always, it was more girls that she dated. Um, and being bisexual doesn't mean that you're 100% like, you date a guy, then a girl, then a guy, then a girl. It's not really like that, you know? Sometimes, even if you're bisexual, you're more into women than you're into men or vice versa, you know? Um, and it's like, you know, it's a whole, it's, it's, it's really not about really, um, you know, being attracted 50% to each gender. It really isn't like that, you know? Um, but... At the time, and for what I remember, because I haven't actually rewatched the show um, ahead of this pri from the pre previous season or for this season, but at the beginning of the show, I do remember that Alice used to date guys a little bit more than girls, and then she went uh, um, to have a lot more girls relationships you know she still consider herself bi so the fact that now there is this guy I really hope that you know as, as a fandom we don't start to throw shit at Alice for dating a man because she is bisexual and her bisexuality is valid when she dates a man or a woman you know, and they seem to kind of hit it off, you know, um, and Tom seems like a decent dude, because I do remember give like people back then, I didn't have internet, I, you know, used to pay every weekend on a, like an internet cafe to actually watch the show, um, and um, I remember people being really anti-Tina, people hating Tina a lot, for her being bisexual and because she dated guys and all of that. And they used to give her a lot of crap. So I do not want people to give Alice crap for if she starts dating a man. Because she is bisexual and her bisexuality is still valid. Whether she dates a girl or a man. She's not more bi because she dates a girl. She's not less bi because of it. She is bisexual. And that's it, you know. And I think that... One of the shows that I will trust to handle a, a bisexual relationship is this one, okay? Um, a lot of shows, you know, it's, it's difficult. And a lot of shows do the, oh yeah, one is a lesbian, one is bisexual, and they are bound to be together. And that's it, end of the story. The bisexual never, ever again dates a man. And that's not... I mean, it could happen. I'm not saying it, it won't. But I think that in terms of representation for a bisexual woman or a bisexual man, we, we kind of have to see it both, you know, and they're still valid because of it, right? So, yeah, uh, let's see how it goes. I, I mean, Tom seems like a nice guy and they're like, like their chemistry is kind of like going from that banter of both of them being funny, you know, having that witty type of uh, sense of humor. Um, and for both of them to not really be into the polyamorous thing, you know, and I don't think it's something that is because someone is more evolved than the other. It's just like, you are not into that. And that's just it, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that storyline. Um, 
yeah. What else happened? Well, this episode. Oh, Bet was just being extremely... I mean, Bet and Gigi were extremely, you know, cute. And, you know, at the beginning. And then Gigi grabbing her ass. I almost, I almost passed up, like, passed down. Passed out. I was like, <laughs> don't do this to me, Gigi. Uh, but then, through her friendship with Danny because Danny her dad uh Danny's dad is more into like okay you know he she, he's not trying to gloat which is something that uh Danny thought it was going to happen but he's more like I want to settle you in a place and like he is he bought this incredible place for Danny and you know make her sign a DNR thing and like I was like confused because DNRs are only signed when you have a terminal illness and you do not want to live on life. You don't want to have life support, you know. If it ends for you, it ends. And that is a decision that, that, that some people with terminal illnesses uh, make, you know. And and uh, there is one and Danny was aware of it. And now that Danny thought her dad is like something is wrong with her dad and it looks by the end of the episode that something is seriously bad with her dad so on top of getting dumped or, or finding out that she was being cheated on in the altar like minutes away from getting married um she's now going to lose her dad as well and we know that she lost her mom so it's like and she's if i'm not wrong she's an only child right isn't she Right? So it's like a lot of things happening. But she connected with Gigi. And I love Gigi. Okay? I I, I don't think I appreciate Gigi as much as I, I'm appreciating her now. She's such a well-rounded character. And, like, I love finding out so, so many things about her. She comes from a big family. She's from Iran. Or at least her her parents are. I don't know if she was born here. I don't think they explained that. But yes, and she. What language is that? I I, I am ignorant in that. I I don't know what language it is. But she was fluent in it. Danny seems fluent in it. Her dad as well, you know. And like I was like, how does Gigi go from extremely hot to like? You know, I don't know. I, I don't think there is even a word to explain how incredibly hot she is now <laughs> to me, you know? And, like, then we have this this whole thing and vibe with Gigi and Danny. And I'm like, Gigi, can you stop? <laughs> she has already, you know, been with Nat, Alice, Bed, and now Danny. My girl is, like... She's gonna, she's going to have sex with everyone by the end of the uh, of the show, um, but no, for real, I did love the connection between them. How how easy it was for them to talk, you know. I also kind of love the age different thing. It's kind of like, okay, but like I kind of liked it. And for someone who is as mature as Danny is, to have someone who is. So powerful as as Gigi. Oh my god. But like honestly, I am still waiting here for Bed and Danny because I will die if that happened, you know. But Bed on this episode was dealing with a lot. And Bed is not someone, if you know Bed, she's not someone who handles emotions very well. And when she feels, you know, that emotions are, you know, just all over her and like, you know, she closes herself up. And pushes everyone away. That is bad, you know. And she did that with Gigi. But Gigi is the, the type of person who just doesn't, you know, take shit from anyone. Not even from bed. Porter, you know. So she was like, I'm giving you advice. I'm actually being your girlfriend. And you, like, your daughter says who is there. And you said no one? Are you, like, she didn't step for any of that crap, you know. So she walked away. I'm pretty sure that they are not... They have not broken up, but I don't think that they are necessarily together. Because yes, Bed introduced her as her girlfriend and Gigi gave her a look of like, when did we discuss that we were girlfriends? You know, 
So I don't know what is going to like. I don't know if that opens a possibility for Gigi and Danny to hook up. Will I be down for it? Yes. I will be down for it. <laughs> I will be down for any type of ship. Now, the ship that I'm really not here for, though, and that I feel like they have, like, I, ha I find myself having the hardest time connecting with is Sophie and Finley. Finley is extremely funny with her one-liners. I love that about Finley. Um, she makes some comments that are like, just, just shut up sometimes, you know, cause she was like, in, in like, you know, uh, in behalf of all white women, I'm sorry. And like, I was like, shut up, <laughs> you know? And like, I, I feel like, like Micah and, and, and Sophie's sister who I need to know her name. I'm terrible with names and sometimes I forget and I have forgotten her name, sadly, I will figure it out for next episode. The thing is that they were like, shut up. <laughs> I love it that moment. Um, because they were discussing something so important and Finley was just making the joke at that moment. And sometimes it's like, yes, we get it. You're the one who makes the jokes and, you know, the one who has the one-liners. But sometimes it's like, just like pace yourself. Like, just look for the right time to tell your jokes, you know? But anyways... Thing is that I'm not really into this whole Sophie and Finley thing. I am really not into that. And who I'm, I'm I feel like they are making it like less likable by the episode is Sophie. You know, I have never had a problem with Sophie in the past. But I am, like I have said, very protective over Danny. And I think in the, this whole situation, Danny is the one who ended up being you know, the hurting the most, and I hate that, you know, um, and the ones that did, that made this are Finley to a very much, like, less degree, and my girl, Sophie, who is the one to blame because she's the one who had the commitment to Danny to be in a monogamous relationship. So I, I feel, I feel, you know, oh, so pissed at her because she was at first, you know, just asking why in the hell was she asking Danny for a second chance when she knew that she still has feelings for Finley, when she still knew that she was confused. And I, I am just like here, like, honestly, girl, like, for real? And I'm, I'm, I, I'm not feeling her, you know, I'm not feeling... Um, what was uh, Sophie at all? And then she kind of like does something nice and like, yes, I'm confused. I do want you to stay, and um, you did save me. And it looks like on the next episode, she's gonna bang so like Danny again or someone else. I just honestly, they I don't know if they have decided. Let's just completely destroy her character you know Sophie's character but they're kind of doing that you know and I hate it anyways on important news Micah I am liking his uh storyline you know I'm liking his storyline because it has nothing to do with a romantic storyline it's about his work and I love that and I think I took it wrong because Micah was complaining about the fact that, well, they only want me to like work with trans kids when in reality I am trained to deal with grief in general, you know, and to deal with, 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 uh, these cases in general, not specifically to trans kids. Um, and the thing is that at first I was like, Micah, but you, you're like, helping other kids and like you know why don't you want to do that and then when he actually verbalized what he was feeling I fully understood like yes it's not I don't feel like it was like Nat it was like a personal attack on him I thought she 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 thought oh he's a trans guy and we have trans kids so it's a perfect match 
um, in her very small view of life, which I have to agree, did thought as well. It was a great idea. But to be honest, it shouldn't be like that, right? Because straight people and not like non-trans people also, you know, uh, do therapy for trans kids, you know, and they're trained for all of this. So why will it have to be different for Micah, you know? So I'm so happy that we tackled this issue. I'm so happy that they actually explained it so well. Because it's so important. It's so important. And I am so happy that we're having Micah and, and Sophie's sister's relationship as a friendship explore a lot more. I, I love her, by the way. Because she is like such an interesting character to witness, you know, and to, to, to learn from. Because she is like, you know, you're having a character who, you know, has a, a, a physical... I'm, I'm sorry, I really hope that I'm saying the right thing and nobody, t nobody takes it in the wrong way. But she has a physical disability. Um, and the actress who plays her also has that. So it is so fresh and, 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 and it feels real. You know, the conversations, the things that she said, they feel real because it comes from a real person. You know, so it's, it's, I just find it fantastic. I just find it fa fantastic. And her friendship with Micah is just one of those friendships I was not expecting, but I'm here for it. And I think they have just like, it's, it's a match made in heaven. It's a wonderful, beautiful friendship. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. So I like that that is happening with Micah. Then we also have with Beth and the fact that she found this artist who went, you know, because she was just ahead of her generation and she was doing things back in the 90s that now are relevant and it seems like she's coming back. And back then, Bed was not big enough to have this big star, big artist to come and uh, show her work in her gallery. So now that she is in a position of power, she's trying to track her down and kind of like gets to talk to her because it's like, it's like a hero for her. And I love that. You know, I really, really love that. Uh, I, I love seeing her fangirl, you know, I, and also Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Beals on this episode, she won one went from, you know, explaining all these things to Gigi to a completely blank face on looking on the on the art, then discovering this and her face changes and her emotions change in like the split of a second. She is like normal and then she's crying. And I was like confused because I didn't know what was happening. And it was because she was witnessing this amazing art by, you know, like a hero for her. It's amazing. And it seems like next episode... She's actually going to, to talk to this uh, woman who means so much to her, you know? So it's 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 wonderful. Um, anyways, we had that. Da, 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 Danny. Oh, we're talking about Danny. What else happened on the episode? I feel like a lot more happened on the episode, but, like, I have, I'm finding it hard to remember. So I talked about Sophie. I talked about Danny. Right? Then I talked about Danny. Yeah, well, she's freaking out. I feel I feel terrible for Danny. Gigi, I love finding out so much more about Gigi. She's amazing. I swear to God, I can marry that woman. Of, of, of course, you know, she won't, but like, <laughs> it's a dream of mine. <laughs> um, what else happened on the episode? Uh, Tom and Alice... All right, talked about that. Oh, oh, the 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 two more things, uh, Angelica and Tess. So Angie went into the website and actually got the DNA results, and it it, it turns out that she has a half sister. Bet freaked out because she did not want this to happen. Tina, on the other hand, is a lot more calm about all of this. So, but Bet is having some conflicting feelings, which I don't think she wants to accept what those feelings are. I think that, you know, what Gigi said about her not feeling like her kids are her kids, you know, and that Bet might relate to that. 
I think that that's the main reason why Beth just pushed her away. Um, but I think that she's having that type of feeling, you know, feeling like uh, Angelica comes from Tina and the donor and she has nothing to do with that. And I don't think uh, that's what um, what Angie's trying to do, you know. But Beth is very protective and she's very you know like that um and and I understand that she's feeling like that but I, it's also such a part of her of Angie that I don't think we should deny her the opportunity it is ultimately I understand that oh it's the donor the donor the new one and we want to honor that yes granted but not all not everything works out in the exact same way that you plan it Right now, Angie's asking for those questions and you are rather going to tell her no and then her going behind your back or you actually, you know, go with her, which is what she decided at the end of the day. And I'm happy, you know, because Angie seemed, seemed happy that she got to find out about this side of her, you know, and I think it's important. You, you kind of like have to know where you where you come from, you know, in order to know where you're going to. And I think it's such an important part of her. And at least she feels that it's an important part of of herself, of her identity. And if she needs to explore it, I don't think we have the right to just deny that for her. You know? Um, so yeah, they go and meet the daughter. They kind of do look alike, you know? Um, so we'll see what else is going to happen there. Uh, I think in the promo they said that the dad, well, not the dad, the donor uh, is dying, I think. So we'll see how it goes, I guess, you know, uh, if she ends up meeting him or not. We'll see. Um, and what else happened? Uh, Tess. I just don't really understand what happened with Tess, at least not 100%. I think Tess went into her office and this guy started to, like, you know, just ab abuse her. And she was, like, all smiles and that's it, right? And the way that she got back at him was to, like, make him pay for it. And I was, like, and, and she was concerned that Shane was going to think, oh, you jeopardized the business. When in reality, she was worried about her. You know, about the fact that, that, that something terrible could have happened. But also, why are you letting this type of creepos be into your, your bar? Like, why? We need to be very careful in this place on who we let in and who we don't. Especially for the games, you know. Because that was scary. I was scared that something terrible might have happened to it. Something awful could have happened to her you know I don't care about the money I don't care if she make the guy lose or win or she take she took four grand I don't see it as a big thing like oh yeah great you make him pay like no it's just about your safety because what if this time he did just like feel felt you up and like you said oh I'm gonna take four grand for him what if next time he is like aggressive and actually beats you up or kills you. Like, right? That's the way I, I took it. I don't know if that is what it was intended for that scene. But I was just so not okay with anything that happened. I was so worried about Tess. I thought, I think that sh they should have put, like, him on a list that he's never again allowed to come into this club. And I don't think they did that. Or maybe they did after. I don't know. Because at the last scene, they were just counting the money. And like just brushing it off as nothing happened. And I just, I was confused about it. But like if someone can point it out what exactly happened. Because I didn't fully understood. I have to say that. But it, uh, it's still, it's just like I was very scared for Tess. Uh, but I'm liking Shane and Tess as a possible couple. I'm liking it. Anyways, that's it. Um, I really like this episode. I, I cannot wait to watch the next one. Uh, every week, this show fits me so well. I'm full right now. 
I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, and I cannot wait for the next episode. So give it a thumbs up if you love the L Word Generation Q. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. Uh, and if you want to watch the non-blur version of this reaction, the only reason why I blur it out is because of copyright. I'm not censoring anything. It's just copyright, okay? Um, but if you want to watch the normal version, you can do that by going to my Patreon. You can watch it there, this same version without the blur, for free on my Patreon. So, yeah. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, for all your support. You guys are amazing. And for now, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the L Word Generation Q. That's it. Bye, guys.